The word I hear more than any other word in the town of Oregi is Rwanda. They feel that fear of tribe, turning against tribe, and of the consequences that would happen if that comes. Certainly, yes. Uh, what is happening is genocide on a grand scale. Because we are seeing the security forces of Mr. Kibaki shooting innocent civilians who are basically just expressing their democratic right of protest against rigging of elections. So this is something that uh, is not acceptable even internationally. And that's why we are appealing to the international community to come to the assistance of Kenya. Now, what's happening here is that there's a sense across the country that the Kikuyu community, led by Mwai Kibaki, stole the election. And so you're seeing a lot of anger against the Kikuyu community. Nevertheless, there's a sense within the Kikuyu community that they don't feel secure. They feel victimized. They feel threatened by the rest of the country against them. So there's hardening of positions on both sides. Is that OK? I mean, I, I, my, my, my take is, is shock and, and calling for leadership. And Genocide that is happening within our country, and uh, we have made the point that that all the perpetrators of these crimes must be made aware that genocide is a crime against humanity, punishable more severely under both Kenyan inter and international law. In actual fact, uh, even the international community itself, which is a player in these unraveling events, uh, would be in the would actually be expected to state that. Uh, when genocide is involved, uh, people who are engaged in it will be punished even under inter international law because that is standard, uh, okay. that is standard procedure. And in fact, no, no, no. No. Uh, we, we know. Just take it. By the way, I thought.